Hi everyone, my name is Iskia. Um, now I want to show you how to create a forest of trees using point cloud objects and object pane. I mean, in 3D Max, there's already predefined trees which is located under uh, AAC extended foliage. There's a couple trees that you can pick on. Um, now using Japanese flowering cherry. So this is the trees. Um, I mean, it looks good, it looks nice, but the problem with this is it's such made from high poly, so it takes time to render. To reduce the time of rendering, it would be good to create a, a, a point cloud object, which is um, located under a mental ray, Mr. Proxy. So we're gonna create a box first then go to modify and then select the source object which is this foliage and write this object to file create I mean your desktop maybe create name Japanese trees okay so you can see in the preview now how they look at how they looks like so and then you're gonna put materials on this point cloud objects we're gonna just take the material of these trees and then put it here okay I'm gonna hide this one and then so if you render these trees it takes quite fast and then they look um, awesome Now, as we already get the point cloud objects, we're gonna create these forest trees. I think now, um, to create um, more randomness or attracting tree um, forest, we're gonna create a couple colors, tree colors. Well, copy to, co to so we got three trees, same colors now. And we're gonna change it. Then copy. Then we gonna change the lead, the flowers, and change the colors of the flowers into red. And then we're gonna put um, in this object the name red. Okay. Copy again. Then change to blue. Um, here blue okay so there are three different um, colors of trees now now we're gonna create the landscape for our forest so I'm gonna make it from plane <coughs> sorry then we're gonna increase the length and the width 20 and 20 to create um can change the agent faces. To create more um realistic we're gonna create a topography for our plane. I'm just gonna use noise and then Okay, that's enough I guess. Let's get it up. Yes, so now we got our landscape, we got our three trees, and we're gonna go and paint these trees into this landscape. We gotta, then we have to go to paint objects, just like this, and then we're gonna pick these three trees. Pick, pick, close, we're gonna select this one, then select objects. On here, to make it, um, they are located and randomly, we're gonna put it all randomly. And now we can start to paint in this landscape. So as you can see here, trees, you can just paint, they are located just um, on the top of the landscape. 
So now they're just gonna hide these trees. Now to make it more um, realistic, we're gonna play with scale here. You can make it random, and then maybe um, 80% to 125. You can also scatter it or rotate it if you want, but I think just leave it like this. And okay. Now, if you render these images, um, they are located differently or randomly, and then they also like um, the colors of the tree also put um, randomly in on the landscape that's what we want so that's all from my tutorial this time thanks for watching